Okay, uh, this is my Impact 25 700 millimeter barrel. Uh, oh gosh, a few days ago the accuracy went, I cleaned the barrel. I replaced the O-rings in a slightly different pattern. Never really had a standard size O-ring. Uh, I did increase the inner spacing to like three or four O-rings um, just to give it more support. But anyway, uh, when I started shooting, and I'm shooting slugs, a slug barrel, and I was shooting the 26.8 grain Nielsen's. I came back with the new spacing. It went to hell. Um, I've been trying to ask questions, to find out what size O-ring goes on. I mean, I haven't called the call center, but we know how difficult it is to get there. But anyway, I found an O-ring. It is for the 25 caliber barrel that's 2 by 5.5, and it seemed to fit pretty snug. So I'm going to fire some groups at 50 yards. Let's get my hand camera. It's not the best time. going to say it's not the best time to be shooting slugs because the wind is going four to eight miles an hour and switching and for my calculations um, I'm going to move it a quarter to a half inch at 50 yards but before I was shooting when it went to crap and there's my target at 50 yards I was getting, gosh, I would get maybe a couple that would get within a half an inch and then they'd throw one out. It was basically throwing them everywhere. So I figured, uh, first I'm going to test out the new O-ring spacing and see if it improves it. But then I had another idea. And, and uh, using my F FX chronograph, I noticed the weight of it out on the uh, muzzle brake here, and I usually center it. Changed my groups before from about oh inch to three quarters down to clover leaves, and that reminded me of um, a product for firearms called uh, Lim. It's made by Lim Sa Saver. It's called the Deresonator, and it's a rubber like donut and you slide basically up and down the barrel to uh, find the harmonic sweet spot so of course I and it in the FX chronograph weighs about four ounces so what I did and I got a 3d printer now to make sure I'm on screen is I took an inch and a half uh, piece of PVC and molded a sleeve inside that would fit on the moderator and my thought this is only like two and a half ounces but I figure I could put it further out but I'm going to start here got a little thumb screw put it underneath and basically I'm going to start moving it out and see if it uh, tightens up the group basically same concept as the uh, deresonator so let's shoot some what my baseline is. Okay, excuse the poor lighting. My range is what it is. It's in the shade and I shoot from the shade so it's not the greatest, um, you know, video clarity. But anyway, here's the first group I shot. And actually this was a mistake because I had the power wheel at number four and that was when I was shooting Haiti. So this so this is the wrong setting to use. But anyway, when I turn the power wheel up to five, uh, it tightened up. I got one, two, three, four, five. But that's still very poor group. I mean, we're talking two and a half inches plus maybe, well, not three, but. So we're going to start fooling with my little 
the resonator and see if things change any. Okay, like I said before, when I had the FX radar, it was right in the center, and it weighs about 4.3 ounces. This weighs about two and a half, as I remember. Of course, when you when I had the FX radar on, it probably lowered the groups three or four inches, um, which isn't a problem with the adjustable uh, mounts. But uh, I'm going to start back here, and I guess I'll start line with the fitting and holds it on and uh, try to get the screw centered. It's very light. It's a nylon screw. But uh, can I try to get this aligned. And at first uh, I'm going to move it about a quarter inch up this way and see if it changes any and then I'll go from there and if I'm not getting anything at a quarter inch I'll move it more to add more weight to the uh, barrel shroud and assembly. Wow 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 guys. First group shot with my deresonator on. It was a quarter inch forward from the uh, fitting at the base of the moderator. One, two, three, four. Still was a wide group, so rather than moving a quarter inch forward, I moved a half inch forward. And this might have been me, flyer, but regardless, with a three quarters inch forward, there's one, two, three, four shots in about a, an inch there. I'm going to shoot another group here and maybe move it a, a, an eighth inch forward, something like that. And and see if they improve any. Okay. I moved the uh, deresonator from three quarter inch on the base of the mod well, actually the seam in the moderator cap. Uh, gosh, they're fitting. But anyway, moved the seven eighths. One, two, three, four, five. Actually went. Um, so I'm going to put up another target. I got it back three quarters. See if I can replicate the group. Um, back this up a little. Of course, when we're talking what I was originally getting up here, to go to that, if I can get four of that. And remember, the wind is blowing switchy back and forth from four to eight miles an hour which according to straight lock will move my uh, slug anywhere from a quarter to a half inch. So going back three quarter inch forward from our deep resonator and try another couple groups. First I want to show you a little bit of the wind. Now I just calmed down. But once again, like I said, it's going four to eight. But anyway, I moved the deep resonator back to um, three quarters of an inch fired this group there's three right tight and two there uh, I, then I went to this group here or shot this group and I was trying to be super accurate and I sort of uh, released the uh, the fit on the butt stock to my shoulder and, and uh, didn't hold it as tight and it opened up so I went back firmed up the uh, butt plate to my shoulder and fired these four I don't know what happened here when me but uh, holding firm so there's your inch group at 50 yards for four so I have to say that this homemade deresonator is a raging success and being that I was starting off shooting um, gosh pushing three inch groups at 50 yards and I think the benefit to this is rather than uh, adjusting your valve in and out and stuff, if you can get a uniform velocity going and try to get your highest velocity or whatever for maximum energy downrange, um, then you can just use this deresonator to fine tune it. And if you want to shoot a different um, slug weight, 
you just uh, readjust the resonator until they tighten up hopefully it would work for something like that but uh, if I hadn't saw how the weight of the FX chronograph uh, gave me some better groups at times when I was chronographing uh, I wouldn't have thought of this and then it made me think of uh, the uh, limb saver deresonator which is um, that donut rubber piece so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this because I certainly did